الحمد لله. So we tried going into the refugee camp and they got very angry at us. Uh, they escorted us out very quickly and they pretty much said that we're not allowed in. We asked if we were allowed to give any charity to the people there. They said, no, you're not allowed to bring any food. You're not allowed to give any money to anyone. If you want to give money or food to anyone, we have to go through the government. So we weren't allowed to even help the refugees. We weren't allowed in. It looks like a prison in there. It's quite scary, but it's just sad that we can't actually like go in and give them stuff. There's literally glass all over the floor. There's glass everywhere. Yeah, it's very dangerous. I wouldn't want any kids playing here, to be honest. There's literally like bits of barbed wire sticking out. There's glass all over the floor that kids could easily stand on. And a lot of these kids don't even wear shoes. And there's like glass literally everywhere. So as you can see over here, like on the left or your right, you have the tents and the camps. And on your left, you have these huts, you know? And you can clearly see the EU sign here symbol which means that these huts are probably being made. Here's my twin down here. <laughs> She's so silly. So we're in the refugee camp, we're meeting a lot of refugees and um, yeah it's it's been a bit of an experience. Uh, a lot of people they seem to be living in tents and <laughs> and the conditions are really bad. The toilets are awful, they smell so bad. A lot of people, their stories are really horrific. People coming over. There's some kids here who don't have any parents. They lost their parents. Um, here, are, here are the showers. Not very good. So her journey, she, she walked. You walked to... Yeah, I come by walking. Uh -huh. Where did you go to? Walking, walking, walking to Turkey. So she walked all the way from Afghanistan to Turkey. Um, uh, then we come by uh, ship here. So then she came from a tiny, tiny, small little plastic ship and she made it all the way to here, um, into the refugee camp where obviously they put her. Yeah. It's, um, how, how crazy is that journey and how hard would that have been? I mean, how did you um, survive during the travel? How, like, for food and for, was there a group of you? Or, yeah, okay. We were about. Uh, with five people okay. in one small ship. Mm. Very worrying, crying, very problem. Wow, that's um, it's horrible, you know, these people just like me, us, you know, there's nothing different between all of us and that's what they have to go through just for safety. <laughs> They're making us food and tea. Mashallah. Yeah, alhamdulillah. The hospitality here is absolutely amazing. Like, it's incredible. These people don't have a lot and they're offering everything. Like, it's like literally Arabic sense of hospitality from the rich, you know. It's, it's absolutely incredible and it just shows how strong Muslims are across the world and how we care for each other. No matter where we're from, um, yeah, there's always that. Um, there's always that beauty. It's absolutely amazing. We are people who came from Afghanistan and applied for asylum in Greece. We have been in Greece for a while and after a year they accepted our request and they gave us shelter and livelihood for four months. But after four months our living was cut off. Now what we do with this acceptance while we are seven people and we live in fear under this tent. We are happy that Greek government would help us after the acceptance. 
We emigrated from Afghanistan in the hope for a better life so that we could live better. But now our lives are much worse than before and all of us and our children are facing many problems and difficulties. We fled Afghanistan to survive and our children get good education. But unfortunately now we are only alive with many problems. Currently the situation here is very bad and difficult. We live in a very small place without electricity and basic necessities. Instead of three meals a day, they gave us only one meal a day and that is a very low quality meal. We call on the Greek government to take care of our problems if they do not take care of us to deport us from Greece so that we can get rid of these problems. We do not have the money to provide even the basic needs of our family and children. We are really suffering here. Our children do not even have warm winter clothes in this cold season. It is really hard for parents to tolerate this condition, but we have no choice. You see, I have even operated on my abdomen several times due to the problems I had. You see, I also operated on my eyes and it is very difficult for me to be homeless this cold season. Not only me, but everyone living in this camp is facing this problem. There is no water for us here, no food, not even a toilet that we can use properly. In short, our lives are full of problems and difficulties, which is really painful. My brothers and I, who consist of three families, travel together from Afghanistan. There happened a traffic accident on the road between Tehran and Guam and four of our people were killed. So my brothers returned to Afghanistan because of this reason and we are in a bad situation right now. But here we are in a worse situation than them in this camp. We migrated from Afghanistan to Pakistan and from Pakistan to Iran and from there to Turkey and then to Greece. We have suffered a lot along the way hoping to have a better life but unfortunately now we are in a much worse situation than Afghanistan. We were told us we were told to register our ID numbers and we did, but now they ask for us for our passport. We do not have even have enough money for food, so how can we prepare a passport without money? We have no source of income here so we can raise money. Our salary was cut by the Greek government by four months. Now we have come to share our problems with you so that you can bring our voice to the attention of the authorities or help by yourself if possible. Look at our medical records, what problems we are facing and no one has helped us. When we came from Afghanistan, as you can see, these two girls, they have neither father nor mother. تحت الصفر نوجد نوجد لكن احنا ما ننتظر حتى نكتب الاوراق ما بعدين نسافر ما نظلم يعني هاي ما ما فيها اي ادنى مستوى المعيشه ما في اوكي The man we just stopped and one of them is just on his way to Jumma prayer and he wouldn't accept us to like go to a shop and pay for food for him because he'd rather pray. I mean how amazing is that even in such difficult times and in such hardship Allah is still you know is the number one priority which is absolutely incredible. It's absolutely incredible. It literally does strengthen up strengthen your um your iman. So it was very 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 emotional visiting the camp. I was thinking I'm gonna start a GoFundMe campaign. I'm gonna link it in the description. I'll try and link it on the video if I can as well. I'm gonna link it in the description. The GoFundMe campaign is for the people that I met while I was there. So that's a family of seven, a family of five, and um, two girls who are by themselves who haven't got any family, whose family are dead or lost somewhere. So I'm gonna start a campaign for these people and I really want to help them get out of these camps. They've all been in the camp for like two years, one year, some of them one year, some of them two years. And they just can't get out because they don't have any way of making money. They don't have any jobs and they're not allowed to take jobs. So I really want to help them. So what they need is they need passports. So the Greek government are asking them to buy passports. And if they buy passports, I think it gives them more rights. It allows them to get out of the camps. I want to help them get their passports. I want to give them warmth. I want to give them like, they don't have any electricity, but I want to give them maybe hot water bottles, maybe heat pads, anything you guys can think of as well. Message me, message, even comment on the GoFundMe campaign if you can about things. I want to give them warmth. I want to try and give them some food and I want to give them as much ease as possible. So I'm going to raise some money. The link is here, please, even if you just give a little bit, please help out. 
I thank you guys in advance for anything you're about to give. Even if you don't give, but you keep these people in your duas, that's still amazing. So thank you. And thank you for watching my video till the end. Bye guys. Alhamdulillah.